So soon we're going to move on to a couple of slightly more challenging examples. Um, but I want to mention one of the cases that's relatively straightforward, which is the case when M and N are both odd. Okay? So even power of secant, we know what to do. It's always this story, whether this power is odd or even. Okay? Um, odd power of secant depends on this. If they're both odd, it's okay. If this is an odd power and that's an even power, then you've got a whole lot of trouble. We'll look at, we'll look at a couple of examples. Um, in particular, odd powers of secant, odd powers of secant are a pain, a real pain. Uh, even powers of secant, we follow essentially this script. Um, but what we can do here is we make the observation that we can take this and we can write that integrand as tan squared times secant squared times secant x times tan x, right? So if both powers are odd, um, we, want to, we want to exploit the fact that the derivative of secant is secant times tan. So if we pull out one factor of secant and one factor of tan, um, well, then we're left with even powers for tangent and secant, right? And, and then we can proceed. In fact, uh, I guess as long as the tan is odd, secant doesn't necessarily need to be odd, but as long as the tan power is odd, we can do this. Of course, if the secant power is even, we can do this, right? So if, if, I guess if tan is odd and secant is even, you've got two possible ways of doing that integral. Uh, if they're both odd, this will work. Um, so what we want to do is we're, we want to let u equal to secant because then du will be secant x times tan x times dx. Um, of course, we've got to get rid of tan squared, but tan squared is secant squared minus 1. So we can write this as the integral. So we're going to tan squared becomes 1, or sorry, secant minus secant squared minus 1. Okay, times secant squared times secant x tan x dx. Okay, and as I said, we are going to let u equal to secant x so that du is going to be as secant x tan x dx. That's going to give us, so this becomes u squared minus 1 times u squared, and this is just du. Okay, so u to the 4 minus u squared du, so I get 1 over 5 u to the 5, minus 1 over 3 u cubed, so I get 1 over 5 tan to the 5th power, minus 1 over 3, sorry, not tan, um, secant, u is secant, secant to the 5th power, minus 1 over 3, secant cubed, Plus C. Okay. Not so bad. So the, these are two scenarios that are relatively straightforward. Um, in the next video, we'll look at one that's significantly more challenging.